Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sunday Reset here in my home. If you happen to be new today, hello, I'm Robin. I'm so, so glad that you've stopped by today. I have a little bit of everything in today's video. We're going to be tackling chores inside the house and outside of the house. I'm starting off by showing you my to-do list. Uh, when I have a day of cleaning, the first thing I like to do is write out a to-do list because there's nothing more motivating to me than checking off a chore that I've gotten done. Throughout this video, I'll be stopping and checking off chores that I'm getting done, hopefully to help motivate you guys to get your to-do list out and start checking off chores in your home. All right, so that I can start a load of laundry, I'm going to start by taking down my shower curtain and my shower liner and get those in the washing machine. I actually wash my shower liner a couple of times before I buy a new one. It just helps to kind of prolong the life of that shower liner, help it last a little longer before I have to pick up a new one. And it actually washes up really well. I like to uh, wash them a couple of times before I pick up a new one. So you're just gonna see me uh, throw in the shower liner and the um, shower curtain all in the same wash. I do add a little OxyClean to it because those shower liners can get pretty dirty, especially around the bottom when they touch the bathtub. So we're gonna get that started. And then for my next load, after that's done, I'm gonna get these wash rags ready. Our wash rags really tend to get dingy and wear out really quickly. And my wash rags are in pretty bad shape. So I always just pick up this little, this, I think it's called a home brand at Target. No, I'm sorry, it's the Home Essentials brand, and they're really inexpensive. So, And, of course, you'll see me cutting off tags. I do not like tags on washcloths or towels, but especially my washcloths. So I'll take the time to cut the tags off before I get those ready for the washing machine. Okay, while that load is washing, let's head into the living room. Um, also a place that I call the den sometimes. So if you hear me say den, I'm, I'm talking about my living room. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why I do that. I'm not sure if that's a Southern thing or not, but I do say den more than I say living rooms. <laughs> Just letting you guys know that up front. Anyways, we're going to first tidy up. Um, I have got to clean this rug. I have had this rug now for, I think, about six months. I got it at Walmart. It was a little over $200. If I can find the link, I'll link it below in the description box. But this rug has just been fabulous. Um, I actually haven't cleaned it. I might have cleaned it one time when I first got it, but um, it's been a while since I've cleaned it. I do not have any fur babies anymore. Uh, we've had dogs in the house for quite some time, and we lost both of them. Um, within a year's time, we lost both of our fur babies, so we have no animals at the house at the moment. I'm still trying to work our courage up and get another one, but right now, Derek and I are saying no on um, getting another fur baby. I'm saying that because when I had dogs in the house, of course, I cleaned the carpets a lot more often, but this rug, um, again, has not been cleaned in some time, so we're going to take the time today to get it clean. I am doing the voiceover for the Sunday Reset on a Thursday night. I just got in from work. I'm trying to get all this done uh, because we have got a baby shower for Cuddy and Jonathan this Saturday. And then next weekend is our Halloween, annual Halloween costume party. So I'm sitting here on a Thursday night doing this voiceover for this extra long Sunday Reset. And I have got so much to still do on my to-do list. Um, I filmed this video this past weekend and my to-do list was so long because when you've got two events back to back in your home, if you're like me, uh, it stresses you out just a little bit to have people come into your home. I know people uh, watch me that know me. They watch my YouTube channels and they're like, Robin, your house is always clean. I'm like, no, it's not. You just happen to see <laughs> me cleaning the house. But it's, um, you know, again, I've said this before, when you get down to the nitty gritty, the house might look company ready, but it's not deep clean like it needs to be. So, that's another reason why I really wanted to get this rug deep clean today because I'll have 
um, I don't know, maybe 25 women here Saturday night for this baby shower. And um, as you can see, my den is not that big. My house is not that big. So I'm sure some people will be sitting, you know, on the floor. And I don't know, I just felt like I needed to get this rug clean just to make myself feel better because it has been some time. So that's another reason I've got so much to do today in this Sunday reset. So um, and last week in my video, I mentioned um, about me working eight to five. If you're new, I still work an eight to five job outside the house and I have this wonderful YouTube channel and most of my filming is done on the weekends. And I was just talking about that, talking about trying to, you know, my routine is I film on the weekends and then I edit during the week. And you guys were just so sweet to me just by saying, you know, that you guys appreciate that I actually film and put this content out for you guys and things like that. Those type of comments, that just really keeps me going because let me tell you, it is pretty tough. Now, Derek and I are empty nesters. We don't have any kids at home anymore. We do have uh, almost seven grandbabies. We have our seventh grandbaby due in December. Um, so we have a pretty slow life, but having um, an eight to five job and a YouTube channel where you try to post two times a week, my time is, is pretty limited. Um, so I was appreciative of all your kind comments in that video, just thanking me for putting content out on my channel because it can be mm, stressful. It can be hurtful sometimes, you know, people don't say the nicest things. And then, you know, comparison when you compare your channel to other channels, which is the worst thing you can do. But I've got so many sweet friends. My friend Dawn is one of them that just encourages me all the time by just leaving the sweetest comments. And no, my house is not fancy. Um, I'm a little older. I don't always say the right thing. Y'all here, I'm showing you how dirty my carpet was. Look how dirty it was. Goodness. But um, I do enjoy this YouTube channel. It is so rewarding. And I'm just so thankful that God continues to bless my channel and that you guys keep coming back each week to support me. Okay, now that I've talked you through all that vacuuming that I did, I try to vacuum that rug in every direction. It took me forever, but I do like to vacuum really well before I use my carpet cleaner. I have a Bissell carpet cleaner, so I usually just buy the Bissell pet and odor and cleaner, even though I don't have any pets anymore. And then I like to add just a little bit of downy. Now, the last time I showed this, a lot of people freaked out. They're like, Robin, that's going to stop up your carpet cleaner and all that. And I totally understand that it can clog it up. However, I feel like I don't really clean my carpets that often and use this cleaner that often. Kind of sounds bad, right? And so I don't think that I really use enough for that to clog up. It has not clogged up yet. So fingers crossed that um, I've been pretty safe using this liquid downy when I clean my carpets. I love it. I mean, instantly when you start cleaning your carpets, your whole house smells like laundry. So who wouldn't want to do that, right? <laughs> but anyway, I've got the cleaner in there, a little bit of downy in there, and we're going to go to town and we're going to get the rug cleaned now that it's been vacuumed. Now, again, I, when I um, when I vacuum and when I clean my, this rug, I went in every single direction. It probably took me, I don't know, I might be fibbing, but I think it took me about mm, 45 minutes to clean this rug, guys, because I try to go as slow as I can. I try to um, go until I don't see any more dirt. And as you can see here, it really, really wasn't that dirty. But here you can see where the traffic comes through the most. It was a pretty dirty right here. But I just cleaned this carpet until all the water was clear. Um, and it probably, again, took me probably a little, almost an hour. But thank goodness I didn't film all that for y'all. But it was a great feeling to get in here and get this carpet cleaned. And the house smelled wonderful when I got done. This is definitely a tedious chore, but it feels really good once you get it done. Okay, we're moving right along. Cleaning that rug was definitely number one on my to-do list this Saturday. So I got that done. The house smells wonderful at this time. Let's go in and uh, change over the laundry. Now, I do not put the shower liner in the dryer, just the shower curtain. I just take the liner immediately into the bathroom and hang it up to air dry. I didn't show you guys me putting that back up 
but I'm just gonna tell you that I just hang it up and let that air dry. Okay, before I start working on the dining room in the kitchen, I wanna stop real fast and put a YouTube channel at playing in the background. And today, I'm gonna to put it on my friend Anna's channel. Her, An her channel is called Anna's Journey to a Healthier Life. I will put the link to her uh, YouTube channel down below in my description box. Uh, Anna reached out to me, it's probably been about a month ago, and just saying she was being that she was pretty discouraged about her channel it wasn't growing as fast as she'd like and just all that good stuff that we struggle with as youtubers and ask if i might could give her channel a shout out and anna if you happen to be watching today introduce yourself to us in the comment section okay let's mark off some of these to do's oh how exciting nothing motivates me more y'all i've said this before than to check off to do's on a to-do list Okay, so now let's move into the dining room. Pretty much need to pick up. I always choose at the front door. It's a beautiful fall day. I think I have my storm door open this morning, I believe, because um, it's so nice outside. Tonight, when I'm doing this voiceover, it's Thursday. In the last two days, it's been around 50 or 60 degrees here in Texas, and it's been really, really nice. Um, I've posted a few Instagram posts of my sweaters saying it's weather, weather, yay, because I have a lot, I, I have a better wardrobe for winter than I do for summer and spring. <laughs> had done a little bit of ironing when I got up this morning, but I had just one more of Derek's work shirts to iron. I don't do a lot of ironing with my clothes. Pretty much all my clothes go to the cleaners. I work at an office, and so I have to pretty much dress up every day. Derek is a diesel mechanic, but he owns his own business, so he tries to look a little professional, so I do try to keep his um, work shirts ironed. And when I designed this laundry room, it's not very old. It's just about six months old. I love it. I knew that I wanted to create little hooks back here that you could see for me to hang his work shirts on. And then this is pretty much where he keeps all of his work clothes here in this little section in front of the washing machine. So now that our shower curtain is clean, let's get it put up. Such a good feeling to have the shower liner done and the shower curtain um, washed. And so the bathroom is in really good shape now. The only chore I didn't get done today in the bathroom was washing my bath rugs and I'll probably just wait and do those like the day before the shower because I do not like to walk in my bathroom and feel a wet bath rug or a dirty or see a dirty rug. So I will probably wait to the day before the shower and just get those washed. You don't see my bar stools here in this clip. However, um, if you noticed my new bar stools, I've had them for about a month now. Lubano sponsored one of my videos and sent me three of their beautiful, beautiful bar stools. And this past weekend, I sprayed them with some Scotch Guard. I've never used Scotch Guard before. Um, let me know if you have. And I went to spray the first layer, and oh my gosh, it looked almost like a blue tint. I really freaked out because <laughs> those new bar stools are linen, and they're such a light color. But I guess when you spray on the Scotch Guard at first, it kind of leaves a little wet tint to it almost. And then once it dries, it looks a lot better. But I have finally Scotch Guard my chairs, which is was another project I needed to get done before I had all these parties at the house. And I am loving those new bar stools. Okay, now uh, we've pretty much got a lot of our chores done. I'm going to whip up some quick supper. I had bought some cute little pumpkin pastas from TJ Maxx. I buy these every year. I love them. They're so adorable. Matter of fact, I think this pasta has some spiders in there and some little pumpkins in there. I am definitely a pasta girl. I can whip up pasta anytime. I love it. 
Um, Derek does not. He'll eat it, but he doesn't prefer it. But I also picked up some of these roasted um, tomatoes, I believe they are. Here, here we go. They are red and yellow roasted peppers, Italian style. And they were so, so yummy. So I'm just going to get the pasta started. I just threw in some, I think it was um, Prego white sauce. That's just my favorite. And then I'll cut up some of these peppers and put it in my white sauce. Very simple supper tonight. Here I had taken some sugar and some water to make some hummingbird um, food. Um, I don't know if I still have hummingbirds. Kathy or Charlotte, if you're watching, let me know in the comment section. Um, do I need to quit putting out my hummingbird feeders? They're my two friends that tell me um, everything I need to know about my hummingbirds. But I did on this day go ahead and fill it back up just in case there were some still lingering. Okay, so all I'm gonna do here is rinse off my pasta, throw it into my sauce, and supper will be ready. I'll turn the heat off, put a lid on it, keep it warm, and then we'll finish up some chores. Another thing I like to do outside is I like to keep, since it's been so dry here in Texas, we're actually under a no burn ban today. I know all the floods from all the hurricanes, and Texas is in a dry, our, our little town, I guess I have to say our Texas town, is in a no burn at this moment so 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 dry but i like to keep my bird baths full of water so i've got two of them in the yard i'm gonna check my mail while i'm here but i like to keep this one full and then i've got another one over by the side of the house by my flower beds now you'll see here guys my flower beds are just so overgrown they're really pretty right now the hummingbirds are loving all the flowers but um next sunday's video i believe you'll see me i'll redo my flower bed so that'll be fun for you guys to watch and give you some encouragement to clean out flower beds if you have some at your house so we're continuing to check off our chores i've done so much i'm even going to add on here that i made supper <laughs> such an accomplishment i'm definitely a journal girl i journal and keep lots of planners and it just makes people like i've got my life together even on the days that I don't uh, give myself enough grace um, but I do try to do a lot of planning and to do list just to keep everything in my life on track Okay, now let's get in here and clean up the kitchen, get all the dishes in the dishwasher, get that going. And then I'm going to share with you guys just something that I do in my life that has helped me. I've been doing this for about a year now, and it's really helped me to get control of my spending of my money. I just love doing this, and so I wanted to share this with you guys um, toward the end of the video. If you're still here, leave me maybe a thumbs up in the comment section. I know it's an extra long video today, but I'm sure hoping I'm giving you all the motivation that you need on whatever day you're watching this video today. Oh man, I have got so much done today. So my sometimes my to-do list is so handy because it's very motivating because I don't know about you, but I love checking off that pox. So, oh, hang on, let me stop the dishwasher real fast. Okay, I paused the dishwasher real fast. I'm not gonna go through all of this uh, because I need to start that dishwasher back and I've got 
the Weather Channel going because of the hurricane. I have so many friends that live in Florida, so I'm watching the hurricane, uh, Milton, the new one, oh my goodness. And then I've got the dishwasher, I'm sorry, the washing machine going, so a lot of noise going on. So I'm just gonna talk real quickly about what I'm gonna show you guys. That I've talked several times about how I've been saving money with the envelope saving system by Dave Ramsey. And I kind of bumped it up and started uh, with some binders. And so it's a great way to help you save money. So um, I'll get, um, if you want more details, I've got like seven binders, y'all. So if you want more details ever, let me know. I've had several people reach out to me about that. But I got a new binder, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a savings binder for a room makeover that I want to do in my son Jonathan's room. Uh, I have not touched his room since he's been gone or since he's been out of the house. And I really would love to do a makeover in there. It'll be the new year before I actually even start saving money. But I wanted to get it together today and kind of take you guys along with me and show you how I set up this savings binder. So I said, again, I have several of them. I have a vacation binder and I have um, like a long-term savings binder, um, just all kinds of binders. I have a YouTube binder. So, but today I'm going to be setting up my room makeover binder. So that's all I'm going to talk about, and I'm just going to do the voiceover for the rest of it since so much is going on. Okay. So if you're in, if you're not interested, bypass this point. I'll leave a chapter if you want to skip this, but I won't, I won't take very long. Okay. So let me show you how I set up my room savings binder, my room makeover savings binder. Okay, I'm going to start by showing you my new binder that my friend Nadine sent me. This was actually a gift from her that she sent me absolutely free. She is so wonderful. Y'all can check out her channel. It's at The Noteworthy Co. And she's on Instagram and she has a website. I'll link her below. And then you have these savings trackers. These came from my friend Michaela. Michaela Creations Co. is the name of her Etsy shop and she has an Instagram. I'll link her also below. But these are little savings trackers. You have a lighting, you have curtains, decor, furniture, and I think the last one might be paint. And there's one more, as soon as I show it to you guys, organization. So what you do is you take these little saving cards and you put them in these little clear envelopes. So each of those little savings cards or savings trackers, however you want to call them, go in these clear envelopes. And then the envelopes go in your binder. Aren't they simply adorable? So I'm going to speed this up real fast while I put each of these little savings trackers into their envelope. Okay, so now that my um, binder is ready to go, I'm going to decorate it. This little charm came from Nadine's shop, The Noteworthy Co., along with this little inspiration card. And this is just going to go in the side slot pocket over here. And then um, this little pen that's magnetic that says, girl, you totally got this, is from my friend Melina. Her shop is called The Millennial Dollar. She has an Etsy and she's on Instagram and it, I love the way it fits right here. It really helps to give a sweet little touch to my binder. And then in the back, um, she just, Nadine sent me some categories to kind of keep up with different savings. I'm just going to check these in the back for now because I won't be using those. And then she sent me the sweetest little note and I wanted to hang on to that. I love handwritten notes. And I'm just going to tuck this here to the side pocket in this binder. And so now, oh, and I'm going to add just some sweet little paper clips. Those are very uh, popular in the budget um, cash saving niche. And so everybody likes to add a little decor to their binders. So um, anyway, so you'll see me just uh, try to decorate it just a little bit. I've got, like I said, seven or eight binders and I love adding little touches to them. It just, it's a fun way to save money for sure. Okay, so that is how I put together my savings binders. Um, if you're interested, again, I'll link all of their um, information down below in my description box. Reach out to me on Instagram or leave me a comment below. Um, if you want to know more, if maybe you want me to show more in my Sunday resets of my other binders, I'd be happy to show you guys. Okay, and then one last thing I'm going to show you. 
So at the bottom, it kind of gives you a, a blank spot. So you can say, okay, each curtain is going to be $5 or each curtain is going to be $10. I put each curtain's gonna be $5, and then you kind of set yourself a goal. So I'm kind of counting out how many's here. You write your goal in there, and then every time you put a $5 bill in here, you just um, mark it off or color it off. So I'll just show, I'm just gonna show you real quickly how that works. Okay, friends, I'm gonna light a candle and call it a day. I need to go check my emails. I need to start editing my next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I sure hope that you either cleaned along with me or you watched and got some motivation to get some things done in your home. Maybe clean a rug or two. So I appreciate you. If you're new, please introduce yourself to me in the comment section. And friends, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.